Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I am playing Maki Sard, I think is how you say that. Uh, this game is by a group of students at the NYU Game Center, whose names you can see above. Um, Julian Hyde, Angela Lee, Terry Lee, Andrew Struck, Marcel, Wyatt Young, and Kylan Zhu. Um, I saw this at another one of those local events, the Sheep's Meow... NYC Arcade, and I didn't get to play it there, but I grabbed a business card of theirs because it looked super cool, and I went to check it out, and now I would like to play it. So, oh, this game is about, this is a charming game of snooping investigation. As a lobby boy at a fancy hotel, the player will receive clues from the resistance to identify the, to the identity of a government agent and try to figure them out by snooping over the guests, which sounds awesome and hilarious. Press space to start. Tutorial. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> All right, kid, listen up. Pay attention. Why is he that? Press space when you've paid attention. <laughs> As the lobby boy at the Maggie's Art Hotel, it's up to you to provide excellent service to your guests. Now it looks like you're extremely new, so I'll start with the basics. To move around the fine hotel, use the arrow keys. And to interact with people and things, press the space bar. Huh? People and things you can interact with will have a circle above them. Everybody knows that! Hmm. Now, go and check in Mitch's room and see if he's still sleeping. Huh? All the room numbers of all the guests are in your employee notebook. Press tab to read it. Record on your notebook if Mitch is still sleeping and report back to me. Go to Mitch's room and listen. Mitch is room 303. Oh man, I already think this is awesome looking. I have a feeling this is gonna turn into something really cool like a logic puzzle. Mitch is room 303. Go to his room and see if he's sleeping. Let's go up the stairs. Up the stairs one more time. Oh, look at that guy on the roof. He's waving a rose at roses. Oh, I can hide behind that? That's awesome. Guests only. Room 303. Listen at the door. Looks like he's sleeping. Alright. Oh, that maybe that was Peep. Okay, so record. Nice. And now let's head back down. This game is adorable. <laughs> um... Visually, I know they mentioned that this was inspired by the Grand Budapest Hotel, which is a Wes Anderson movie that if you haven't seen, you should watch it because it's great. Okay, still sleeping, eh? Now, go get a package from the gift shop. Show it to the guests to find out who owns it. Record it in your notebook. Report back to me. The gift shop's on the other side of the lobby, and if you want to know where a guest is, check one of the maps on each floor. They'll show you the whole hotel. Once you've delivered the package, mark down who you gave it to in your notebook. Okay. Go to the gift shop and pick up the package. I wish that I had a, I could do a French accent or something, but I'm not. It's embarrassing to even try. Hello. Take this package to Stephen, or was it William? I'm not sure. Oh, great. Stephen or William. Bring the package to the guests to find its owner. All right, well, I suppose we'll see, won't we? Wait, this is... All right, so William is in 203. Leave me alone, young man. We can see you eavesdropping, little boy. Sorry, sorry. William is 303. Are my, my knees wiggling? All right, is anyone in there? No one is home, all right. Let me check out 302. Let's see if he's home. He's not home either. Oh, but that guy's upstairs. I think that looks like William. So let me bring this up to William and see if William is interested in his pa is the if this is his package. Hello. I think that's for Steven. He's on the third floor. Okay. Ooh, the ballroom. And the games room. I'm gonna have to check all these things out. Steven, cool. 
Is that for me? It should say Naima on the front. No, oh well. Hello. Ah, yes, my package. Just leave it anywhere. Is that anywhere? I'm gonna leave it right in front of you. Just leave it anywhere. Really? Okay. Done. So it looks like this notebook is a kind of a quest for quest. That you, um... You, you get an assignment, you do it, and then you bring it, you, 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 so as I get more than one thing to do, I'll probably have more than one thing to check off. All right. Any trouble delivering the package? Hmm. You might work out here after all. Now, someone's been picking our flowers on the roof. Go see if you can find out who it is. Recorded in your notebook. You're starting to catch on. Well, I saw that it was William, but I'm not sure if I'm... If I can do it that oh yeah it's, I'm just looking so I don't necessarily have to interact with them I can just kind of see and report back hello it was William eh well I'll discreetly discuss it with him one last thing for the day go to the restaurant and see if Debbie's enjoying the dinner you can listen in on her conversation with the waiter then mark down how she feels check if she likes it X if she doesn't of course, you shouldn't let them see you listening. This is a nice hotel. And don't let the other guests see that you're snooping. Personally, I don't care if you do, but they don't like it. <laughs> Hide behind a plant so they don't see you. Don't worry, our guests are not very observant. <laughs> okay. The restaurant, I think, was on the third floor. I already got yelled at for snooping. The games room. The restaurant is on the second floor. There's no plant in here to hide behind. I can fix that vase. You can see me eavesdropping. Well, how am I supposed to eavesdrop if there's no plants to hide behind? Look at this little snoop. Hmm. Can I move them? Can I, like, pick up this plant and move it? Yup. finding your food tonight, ma'am. Please, call me Debbie. Certainly, ma Debbie. I'm afraid this meal isn't very good at all. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. You're usually much better. Oh, <laughs> well, alright, plant. Oh, that is so good. Alright, so Debbie did not like her food. Oh my god, the fact that you can pick up the bushes and move them around, that is too good. Alright. Hello. Good work. All the guests are going to sleep, you should do the same. If you ever need help, come talk to me. Zzz. Is this where I sleep? In the basement. All alone in the ba- Whoa! Hey you! Lobby boy! I'm here from the resistance! Hmm? You know, the resistance! We're fighting to free this country! Hmm? Because I swam up the river and tunneled through the bridge to get a new room, that's why! Hmm? Because we need your help! There's a government agent staying in your hotel! Hmm. And they've got secret documents we need! Hmm? But we don't know who they are! We don't know five things about them. First, we know they're cowardly and scary as least. Second, we know they're very wealthy. Third, we know they're a romantic. Fourth, we know they're clumsy. And finally, we know they enjoy vices. Hmm. That's right. We've got to figure out who it is. Who the agent is and let us know. Hmm. Write all that stuff down in your notebook so you don't forget it. Good work. You've got three days to figure it out before the agent moves on. The fate of the country is in your hands. Wow. What a setup. Day one. We've got three days to find the agent. Good luck. Oh my god. That's a hilarious way to introduce this. Target has these five traits. Wealthy, cowardly, clumsy, romantic, and joy vices. Yep. And I get to mark down how I feel about those things. Alright. So how do I find those things out is the question. Hello, buddy. 
Use the hotel map if you lose your way. All right. One of the guests seems to be avoiding me. Cowardly, maybe? That could be. All right. Gift shop. Hello. Our cigarettes are selling well. Mmm. That's a vice. That's a vice. So one of them has a vice of cigarettes. I can hide behind that. That's useful. Oh, that's Steven. What's Steven buying? Let me just move this plant over here real quick. Welcome, sir. How can I help you? I want to pack your finest cigarettes. The top shelf ones. All right. Steven has a vice. Steven. Enjoy vices. All right. I wonder if anyone else is going to come through. Oh, clumsy, too. Did he knock over this vase? Let me put the straighten that back up. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, this is awesome. This is super awesome. One of the guests sure has a good appetite. We straighten up the vase. She knocked it over. She knocked it over. Who is that? Debbie. Debbie is clumsy. We can see you eavesdropping, little boy. All right, let me. Oh, and what are you doing? Let me. F He's going in his room. Can I listen? He's picking petals off the flower. Romantic. Could that be romantic? She loves me, she loves me not? Sure could be. It sure could be. She locked, she knocked it over again. That is Mitch. Let me set this up and... Okay, so base, so I get the idea now. Okay, we have lobster, goose liver steak, and bass. Have a large lobster. And the steak, too. Why not? Oh, and he has a chubby little belly. Good choice, sir. Any drink? A glass of your best wine. Okay. Mitch. Also wealthy. Sid your meal to your room right away. And would now, would you call that a vice? Eating like a monster? Did he knock the thing over? He didn't. So Mitch is not clumsy. All right. That's good to know. All right. And what are you doing up here, ma'am? Hi. She's a bees like her. <laughs> That's Nama. Bees like Nama. That's not one of them. Oh, they're listening. Conversation. I noticed someone slapping the bees the other day. So brave. You notice there are bees on the roof. Oh, really? So they're annoying and scary. Okay, so he's cowardly. She is not cowardly. And he's kind of undecided about the bees. Okay, that's a really cool... That was really interesting. Okay, look at this little snoop. No, 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 no. Just a, just a moving pot. What you talking about? Me neither. Who's that man always jumping roof on the ro rope on the roof every morning? He's kind of health fanatic. He's obsessed with clean living. Personally, I don't see the point. Me neither. Okay, they're not, uh... Hmm, that's not really... That's not real, doesn't really fit. But, I mean, it has to, but... They don't see the point of healthy living. Which isn't really any of them. Um... Oh, he's in the games room smoking now. Okay, so this is definitely a vices guy. Anyone in here? Oh, did Steven knock over the flowers? 
Oh, I'm getting sleepy. All right. All right, it's, it's Z's time, I guess. Hello, Mr. Resistance. Good work. Not that today, I think we're getting close. All right, day two. So we've got to eliminate a bunch of things. Two more days to go. Go get them. Okay. Go upstairs, upstairs. I want to see the flower pot. That's really a good one. Hello, are you chatting? She went up to the roof. Alright, is anyone gonna walk past the flower pot? Alright, this guy is the food guy. Is that all we're gonna get all I'm gonna get from them though? Okay, what is she up to up here? Can I go grab some flowers real quick? Are you thinking anything to yourself? Can I talk to you? No? Hmm. What are you up to, my friend? He's jumping rope. So I'm gonna say he doesn't enjoy vices. If he's the health guy. And she's the bee slapper. Now if I could... Oh, they're having a conversation. Oh, is she gonna knock? Come on, come on, come on. Did she knock the vase over? She didn't. Oh, she did. Okay. Name a clumsy. Now, what are these people talking about? Oh, no, no, no. Straighten it. Did he knock it over too? I think he did. Straighten it again. He knocked it over too. All right. Wait. Name a clumsy. Steven. Clumsy. William Clumsy. So it can't be Mitch. It can't be Mitch. Okay. Oh, and it can't be William. Oh, and it can't be Nema, because they have to have all five of these straights. So Steven and Debbie are my only suspects. They're my only suspects left. What? Are you sure? I thought I heard some strange noises from the basement. If I had known that, I never would have checked in. I'm gonna be up all night thinking about it. Me too. Interesting. Cowardly? Uh, wealthy, romantic are the only... I don't know if Steven heard there's a ghost in this hotel. Okay, so I'm looking for wealthy and romantic. From Debbie... Steven. What room is Debbie? 301. Should I go up to her? Can I listen at her room? Oh, she's not home. Can I... Where are they? Debbie and Steven. There's Debbie at the restaurant, and there's Steven... Steven went into his room in 302. Is he home? Let's listen. There's a bee. He's afraid of the bee. Okay. Well, that's cowardly. I've already got that. There's Debbie. Where's Debbie going? Upstairs. Let me follow her. All I need to see is them not having one of those traits. What is she doing? Debbie, what are you doing? Are you eating? What's going on? Also, this conversation may, might reveal something even though these people are not suspects. I cannot say. Hey, you look upset. Oh, damn. I missed it. Oh, 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 here's my suspects right now. No, 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 don't. Talk about what? Whatever you like. What are you interested in? I don't see why we do that. She's not romantic. Romantic. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who knows, I'd rather talk about you. Talk about what? I think... Okay. Let's call him romantic. And Debbie not romantic, which means I think it has to be Steven. It has to be Steven. Now, how am I going to find out that he's wealthy? Or is this a process of elimination sort of thing? I'm not sure. Guest needs to pay extra to get in the game room. Oh, he was in the game room, wasn't he? He was in the game room. I think I saw him in the game room. I think he was just there, just now, just a second ago. And he's in his room, sleeping. Oh, I think I saw him in the game room, but I'm gonna watch him on day three. Keep up the good work and we'll have this for sure! So all I need to do is keep an eye on the game room, and if I see Steven go in there, I've got him, right? Because he, he's the only one who doesn't have all the traits. Agent leaves tomorrow. Okay. There he is. All right, so that guy's wealthy in the game room, too. But Steven... I'm, I swear I saw him in the game room. He was smoking in the game room. Oh, he's talking to the checkout counter. Does that mean he's leaving tomorrow? Oh, boy. Now, that could be useful, too. Maybe. Let me just grab this flower real quick. Is he still there? He's still there. He's going to get my hands on some poker chips. Yeah, alright. We got him. What is this? What the heck is this? I think I got him. He's definitely going in the game room. And that's what that's exactly what I needed to know. Let me just hide in here. I can't I couldn't love this ridiculous flower pot thing anymore. You can pick up the flowers to hide behind the flowers. It's absurd and wonderful. Hey Steven. I know you're in there. I know you're the one. I, I hope. I hope. I hope he's the one. Hey, conversation. What are you guys chatting about? I think Steven. What a shame there's no dancing at this hotel. Oh, I missed it. Hey, what are you talking about? She's afraid of the bees. Okay, well, I, I can still check things off. Um, while I, I got, I think I figured out who it is, but while I've got, while I'm waiting to end the end of the day, one of the guests is running me ragged with all his purchases. Is it you, Steven? I really, 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 really like a lot how there's more than one way to deduce everything. Perhaps a diamond necklace. Perfect, I'll take two. Well, okay. He's de okay. I love how there's more than one way to deduce everything. The wealthiness, he, the game room, there was the um the dining room where he ordered all the steaks and the lobster and everything. There's also the the game room where you have to pay extra and he got poker chips. There's also the gift shop where he's buying like there's three ways of figuring out that he was wealthy. That's really neat. Um, the romantic, there was the flowers, the, the she loves me, she loves me not flowers. There was also the, he was trying to like chat up someone. There's more than one way of finding that out. Okay, so they're in the game room, which means that they're wealthy. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've been to this room. I assume it'd be quite expensive for you, right? Ooh. 
Don't want to spend all my money hanging around, hanging on in the game room. Well, I come here every day. Okay, so she's wealthy. But she's not romantic. I guess that was the one thing that I... I mean, it could have been... It could... That conversation, I'm pretty sure, tells me that she wasn't... That she's not romantic. That she had no interest in, like... She, like, didn't even understand why he was chatting her up. And if that's the only differentiating factor between the two of them, he's definitely more romantic than she is if he's trying to, like... And she's like, I don't understand why we would talk about that. So, all right. Hello, Resistance. I'm back! Woo! So, have you figured out who the government agent is? Well, if you're not sure, just give us who you suspect. We gotta have those documents. The future is in your hands. Who is it then? Steven. So it was Steven. I'll send out our agents to steal the documents right away. Thanks, kid. When we win, we'll make a statue of you. Papa was Steven. Papa was Steven. Secret documents! And there's my statue! <laughs> Oh my god, and he's taking a selfie with the statue with a selfie stick. Oh, that's so good. Success, you saved the day. Super nice person. That was so fun. That was really, really fun. Um, awesome job. You six people at the top of the screen. Um, that was really, really, really cool. So that game is available on... Um, itch.io for download the suggested price is one dollar but you can it's a pay what you want so if you don't want to pay for it i mean you should because it's cool and it took them some time to make but i understand not everyone wants to pay for everything and that's cool um but definitely check it out and give it a play because it's really fun <laughs> um i love that sort of deductive reasoning kind of thing so um that's all for makisard and me <laughs> thanks for watching i'll see you next time Bye bye